Tonight, because of the rain, there is pavement problems with potholes that just get worse with the rain. Take a look. This is in Capitola from an aerial shot. You can see all the damage on the roadway. Tonight, Key Island's Carl Cook reporting from Capitola to show us what's being done about the pothole problems. So this area of Capitola is one of the busiest in the city. Not only do people have to worry about rain and crazy drivers, they also have to worry about potholes. But can these potholes actually be getting better? On Tuesday, work trucks could be seen on the side of the road. Workers getting ready to fill potholes on Clare Street between 40 and 41st. This is a welcome sight for drivers like Tamika Rashid. It just makes it look more nicer when it's fixed, you know, and then presentable. Um, Santa Cruz is a nice city, so all the streets should be fixed with the potholes because um, it could be dangerous too at the same time. Now, although the street looks somewhat normal now, this wasn't always the case. This street used to look like this, filled with potholes. You can't really see the water, how much water in the dips it just yeah it's yeah, kind of worrying are. definitely you could see how it plays a part when people are trying to beat this traffic this intersection right here is just insane because people are trying to get to the freeway and it's just it's tough <laughs> now i did also reach out to the public works director for capitola jessica khan tells me that this area here on claire street is an active construction site base repairs are done and final payment should be completed within the next two days i'm glad that they're fixing it um it took them a little while but better late than never oh it's it's nice that just the roads will be smoother and that's just something one less thing to worry about people so now I did check and I was told the work will take place overnight this evening through Wednesday afternoon reporting from Capitola I'm Carl Cook KION News Channel 46 Public Works also telling Carl that the estimated cost for this completed project is around 1.2 million dollars funding here is part by measure D as well as grants